My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, I'm Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. Today, I have another subscriber request for another vegetarian meal. I have it for you. It is a zucchini noodle pesto bake, packed full of flavor, meat eaters, you ain't gonna be missing anything. In the pans here, we have two pans going at the same time. I have some olive oil in this one, and this one over here, I have a shallot and some garlic. All the exact ingredients will be down below in the description center with the measurements and everything. I have some Bella slash cremini mushrooms here, which are my favorite. Let's start with this, and we're gonna do these in batches because I want to brown these, okay? Now that's enough. And please, huge tip, do not salt these mushrooms. Let them go once they hit the pan, let them go. You wanna brown them. If you put too much in the pan, they're gonna steam instead of brown and you're getting all the flavor from the mushrooms when you're browning them. Now these have been sweating out the garlic and the actual shallot. Huge, huge tip, please, about zucchini noodles. These have been here about two hours. I salted them, and look at all the liquid that came out. Look at this. This is insane. When you press down, you have to do this, or else all that is gonna be in your bake, and it's just gonna be liquidy, you're not gonna like it. So it's very, very important that you salt these, uh, put a heavy weight on them. You can put them through a cheesecloth, uh, anything that you want to do. And you do these in batches too. Okay, so this is going good. I'm going to turn this up a little bit. We want the pan going nice and hot. So let's make some room for the zucchini noodles here. And once again, I'm going to be doing these in batches because I want to brown them. I want to brown them. So let's take half and put them right in. Perfect. Once again, half, we're browning the zucchini noodles. Now let them go. Let them go. Because you just, okay, who wants a soggy, limp zucchini noodle? Not me. <laughs> and that's what you're gonna get if you don't drain or you do it in batches, so it's really important. So um, what we're gonna be doing, we're just gonna be finishing off the mushrooms, we're gonna be browning them, and we're gonna be browning, finishing off the actual zucchini noodles, and then we'll be back and we'll put them all together and make some pesto and get this bake going. <laughs> we just finished up sauteing our lovely zucchini noodles and mushrooms. Just a few minutes until they're slightly browned. You don't want to overdo them. You still want them a little al dente, a little crunch. We're gonna make this easy pesto now. I have all the exact ingredients down below, don't forget, but I have fresh basil already in there. We're gonna dump some good Parmesan cheese, some pine nuts, I already have a garlic in there. Now, the only reason why I'm putting the garlic through a plane and then just dumping it on in is because this pesto is going to have a little less oil than my normal pesto because I don't want the bake, the bake when we have it in an oven just to be soaking, soaking in oil. And pesto has a lot of oil in it. So that's why I'm actually putting the garlic clove through a plane first so I'm not chunking on any garlic while I'm in there. And let's dump, I got about a half a cup of olive oil here. Let's just do half of it and see how that goes. And we of course gotta do some salt and pepper. Got a salt and pepper. Okay. Let's get this bad boy on here. This pesto sauce is so easy.
Okay, looks like just a touch more oil. Just a touch. Okay, let's get back down on the sides. Get down in there. I want all of you in there. <laughs> back on. Okay. Looks lovely. Looks lovely. Now you can see that is a pretty thick pesto sauce. That is not my normal pesto sauce that is running in oil. It's because I don't want that all in the zucchini noodles. So we're gonna take a pretty good spoonfuls right on in. And we're just gonna take this and combine it with the zucchini noodles and the lovely mushrooms. Mm. Oh my God, it smells so good in here. It really does. I can't wait for you guys to try this. Mm. Looks like we're gonna use all of it. I didn't know if I was gonna use all of it or not, but I definitely am. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get little mini ramekins and we're gonna fill these. So let me grab those. Okay, let's get the zucchini noodles in their bowl so we can get them in the oven. So, let me put my wine down and I'll tell you a little bit about that in a second. Let's get just stuffing these. You don't need any oil or anything in the pan because there's so much oil from the pesto and everything in there. So you just want to put a nice, good layer of your wonderful zucchini noodles and mushrooms right on in. And what I do, I have some great ricotta here. And I just put like little pockets of ricotta. And please, don't use the skim ricotta. <laughs> get the full of fat one. And get one that you like that's creamy and tastes good. I mean, it's, it's all about the cheese. And we have fresh mozzarella. Your fresh mozzarella is going to come in, in liquid like this, in huge chunks. And it goes so well with this. So I'm just going to layer that right on top, like that, two layers. So we got some mozzarella and we got some ricotta cheese. Now we're just going to stuff that in the oven, 375 for about 20 minutes, just into the cheese melts. You just want the cheese to melt, you don't need anything else to cook, and you're done. It's pretty easy. And our wine today, oh yes, this goes perfect with it, because everything here I would call as herbalicious with a lot of herbs with the fresh fresh basil and everything like that. You want a nice crisp, crisp wine. And uh, that's why I got this lovely, lovely Sauv Blanc. It's a Sauv Blanc from New Zealand. It's Gragey Range is the, is the area, the vineyard. And it is crisp. There's notes of, of citrus. And mm. it will go perfect with this because you don't want anything oaky or anything big. You want something light and crisp, something that was done in stainless. So this will work perfect. And the citrus notes will just combine perfectly with all the herb notes from the basil and the zucchini. You'll love it. So let's get these in the oven. Let me finish the rest of these. We'll get these in the oven. And I can't wait to try them. <laughs> Our zucchini noodle pesto bake is done, and I can't wait to try it. I always like to tear some fresh basil right on top. You know, gotta make it purdy before you eat it, right? Just a little fresh basil. Okay, I, got to, I can't wait, I gotta dig in. Oh, this looks so good. A little bit of cheese, a little bit of everything. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Mm -mm -mm. And Sauv Blanc. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I can't wait for you to try this. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You can click on my icon below that says Wine and Dine. 
and subscribe. And then you'll be able to see what I'm doing next week. Thanks for stopping by Wine and Dying.